What's up YouTube, it's your boy Rex Righteous, and I'm back with another Flashpoint. Alright, so this one's gonna be about my 2K experience. Um, I got NBA 2K20, and I have to say, I think it was a phenomenal game. I think it is a phenomenal game. Um, the last time I had a 2K was 2K16, and before all that, I was playing 2K's all across the board I started to slack a little bit around 2k 12 ish and um, I wasn't playing as much life got in the way video games became you know something in the in the in the past I guess because I, I had been playing since I was a kid basically um, when it came to video games um, since five years old I was playing video games um, and I love 2K, you know, I always loved 2K, I always liked the graphics, I always liked playing with my friends, but it was the L's that got me impressed, and, and, it, and it made me um, sort of like addicted in a way, where I, I just wanted to win, and um, um, I have to say, you know, that this game it really impressed me, so I want to I wanna go through some of the things that I do like some of the things that I think they need to work on but for the most part I think the game was phenomenal um, going from 2k16 and 2k20 and being able to play as much as I did because of quarantine really changed my opinion on the game where the server is at where uh, the fan base is um, and the f for the future and, and and understanding the community itself because I didn't understand what was going on back in 2K16. I got it just to play with my friends, which is the reason why I got it, you know, to get, that's the reason why I got 2K20. Uh, 20. Um, it's, it's weird because, you know, I thought I was going to be playing with my friends. Um, for the most part, I did play with them, and but then I, eventually I started to meet a lot of new people because I started to see myself online a lot by myself just like let's see what happens and um they were honest <laughs> they were honest um before all this I was uh working a lot and playing Days Gone Days Gone is a zombie game that's based out of Oregon and you know there's in the zombie apocalypse and you're basically uh trying to survive in that setting and it was it was good because I was um, working so much that I couldn't dedicate myself to playing online with other people. So, you know, if I'm online and they're trying to look for a player and I'm like, nah, I can't because in a half an hour I got to go to sleep or whatever. You know, I had a I had to get a game that wasn't online. So when I got 2K20, I was like, man. Finally, you know, I missed out on 17. I missed out on um, 18, 19, and most of uh, of the year when it came to 2K20 because it came out in October or November or September, something like that. And now I'm like right there with a lot of people. Um, I understand that the last three to four months that I had the game, because I think I got the game in April. Um, I understand that a lot of people got off the game or they started playing Call of Duty or they started playing a different game because a lot of people are quarantined. So they're, you know, they're switching up, they're adapting. So I know that the competition is not the same. So like you're, you're probably watching video right now of me playing against the legend. Um, uh, I, I, I was told that there was more elites walking around than usually, you know, a lot of people bumped up to elite um, in quarantine. Um, and for me, I didn't, I didn't really care. I just wanted to play, you know, I wanted competition. So I know that there's some lacking going on and, um, it was cool. You know, um, the, the first, uh, build I made, which is not going to be in this video at all. Um, he was a lockdown slasher. So I try to make like this. Clay Thompson slash James Harden dude and I kind of overreached with his weight I didn't think that um, the game was going to pick up on that 
but then um i was paying attention to the attributes and the physical attributes and things like that i was like wow okay so it, it actually does matter and they pay attention to it and um you know in, in my career i'm like explosive i'm a layup god um i was like grant hill basically i was doing a lot of shit but i couldn't do all the dribble moves i was still back in like 2k16 mode or probably even less than that because when all the dribble moves came out i noticed it it was gonna be a shift and i saw online that there was a lot of these little dribblers you know little guys that could dribble the point guards and stuff and then pop threes so i'm like okay i'm just gonna do me so i could get out there and see what i could learn and then um i kept playing and people liked my defense but i was a little slow and i couldn't keep up with some of the players and my off my offense wasn't like a go-to it was I, I, it was starting to be like a thing where i needed to become trustworthy in certain situations where like you know whether i take somebody to the post or you know can i hit threes or can i come off the screen and you know roll or can i dunk can i assist can i pass the ball can i dribble like what can i bring to the table that allows me to be a threat on the court and i was starting to see that it wasn't just defense so when i initially made my player i wanted to stop those little point guard dudes and the player i created wasn't fast enough i saw his strength was maxed out i was like shit maybe i should have chilled on that so one day um i'm basically uh you know by myself just looking at people's stuff like you can go up to people you can be next to them while you're waiting for a game and um look at your phone and check out their attributes and stuff so i started doing that a little bit so checking out other people's attributes and i'm looking at stuff and i see that their dunks are one way or you know the driving dunk is a standing dunk i'm like okay i want to dunk and i saw that their steals were one way and their defense was one way interior defense was this way and i saw that people's steals were low and blocks were low i'm like wait a minute hold on wait a minute so then I was like, okay, so you're telling me that I could take away some of my body weight, skew a few things like my, uh, my, uh, my, my, uh, what's it called? My, my block, my steal, my rebounding. I could take that off and then put it towards something else. Cause I didn't understand that. I, I thought, I thought at the time. The best thing I could do was make my player as well balanced as possible, but I didn't, I didn't have that going on because being well balanced doesn't mean make a well balanced player. It means um, you got to be able to hide what you're not good at in this game. So, you know, if it's five on five, you got to be able to show that you can play um a five on five and pass the ball and do all the things you need to do cut you know pick up you know if somebody's um getting loose on 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 offense and they're about to dunk it or whatever can you cover can you can you put your hands up and stuff like that so i'm like okay i can do that you know what i'm saying but at first i was trying to make this like tank that can do everything and that was that was a mistake that was truly a mistake and I learned from it and being that I was playing it so much that um, I I just started to like you know say you know what I'm gonna make another player so then um, I started to look at my build at my at my old player and I start to say you know what I'm gonna um, I'm gonna tweak this I'm gonna I'm gonna take what I didn't have in the other one 
and I'm gonna just try to have fun. I'm gonna have uh, this guy is gonna be for the park. He's gonna be for me to play with my friends. I want to be able to impress my friends. I want for my friends to be like, damn, I want to play with him. So I made this dude, and I was looking at him. I was like, damn, I don't know what to do. It took me like an hour and a half to make this dude because I kept running into like walls and shit where I'm like what is it that I want you know like okay I, I want to make a Giannis I want to make a KD I want to make you know these kind of players because I went away from James Harden and Clay Thompson I'm like I don't want to shoot threes I don't I, I think it's boring it's boring to me so I, I started looking at attributes and stuff and then I went into the point guard and I saw the height I was like okay Six six is it's not as tall as I want to be. I would prefer to be taller. Now, I would I don't want to be that tall. I don't want to be even. I don't want to be taller than six six. But um, at that time, I was thinking, you know, I want to be tall and I want to be able to handle the ball. So then, um, I made his wingspan a, one less than the highest wingspan you could have, and I saw that his uh, shooting attributes went down. Um, but then I made him like fast, you know, I, I put down his weight. I didn't skew him to like those, you know, to be 185 or nothing like that. He's like 205, but it's like, all right, let me make him a little skinny, you know, so he, he could have some speed out there. And then, um, everything up with the dunking. So I find myself having like four, uh, defensive, uh, defensive badges. I'm like, okay, how do I hide this shit? Because um, that's going to be noticeable. But my arms are long. You know what I'm saying? I, I figured out that the steel doesn't matter. I, I don't have to have attributes for it. I could just time it. Okay. Let's see what happens. So I started slowly rolling him out to the park. I didn't care. <laughs> Excuse me. I didn't care. Um, I took him out there 70, 80, 90. But, but you know, slowly, not... Not, not not forcing people on them, um, but when I would finish, people would like that. And then I kept hearing more and more and more and more about, um, you know, the the dunk packages I should get and contacts and whatever. So I started to like it a lot because uh, I started to see that he had potential to score, and that was one thing I didn't get to um, I didn't get to take advantage of in the other in the other dude. This is, is very important to score in in um in the game in order for you to get the ball because that was another problem i was running into when it came to the wreck nobody was passing me the ball i was playing they didn't want to pass it to me and every time i would get the ball i started to feel like i gotta force it i gotta do some shit i gotta do something to show that i'm, I'm worth it and then i wind up like playing a whole game and losing or winning and having seven or eight points and i was just waiting the whole time to, to score I didn't feel a part, a part of the process. And um, I was also being put into games where I'm the fifth man. You know, somebody brings me into a party and I'm the fifth man. I'm like, damn, I'm, I'm not doing that well. So um, the first issue I ran into with this guy that I'm playing with now is how to be a point guard. And also being able to defend really well. So that was the biggest problem I had. Once I learned how to do all that, everything else came natural. The defense came. Um, the offense came with my attributes going up. And um, the dunks became, they, they started to become insane. Once I started to um, really understand consistent finisher, relentless finisher, and contact finisher, it, it, it changed everything. And um, I became a little more fearless. Uh, I didn't care really about how people felt anymore about if I had the ball. Any, because being that I'm a point guard, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to give you the ball anyway. I'm going to find a way to give you the ball as in your sweet spot. Not just give you the ball, but just make sure that you score when I give it to you. Um, but also, uh, I, I, it kind of changed how I thought about scoring. Because the other dude, I was um, constantly um, feeling like I'm, I'm, I'm taking up possession. I, I'm holding up the ball. And people, they wanted me to keep throwing the ball around, passing the ball around. I'm like, yo, I want to find my basket. Like, 
that's not fair you know that, that you know we we all have to like continuously deal with people needing the ball all across the board at center power forward whoever I was constantly running into that so then I'm like all right well I'm gonna go get my basket you know what I'm saying so then that's when I started to like really be aggressive and I wanted it to be where I'm doing so well or I'm locking down my players so well that if we lose it's not on me and either way it can be because it's still a team game so we lose together because that's how I, I that's how I feel but I don't want to feel like I was the weak link you know and nowadays um, there's not that many playing 2k20 anymore there's some people moving on or they're practicing or they're 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 making these new builds for uh, 2k21 so um you know I have some footage here you're probably watching and you might have seen me lose in one but I was going off with the dunks and stuff like that so I wanted to show you know both perspectives um, but yeah uh, I feel like I feel like the game has changed. I, I really feel like they did a great job with the servers. One of the things that people would talk about in 2K16 was the servers. Um, it was notorious, you know, when it came to the Paul George loading screen. It would take forever. Um, the 4 on 4s, that's, some people were talking about it. I don't know where I heard that, but I heard that the 4 on 4s four, four in the park were horrendous. And it made everything slower. I love the forum fours, but when it came to server base, you know, where connection, it was just trash. So I upgraded, you know, for a quarantine because I have a family, tablets, laptops, whatever, phone, everybody's in the house. I mean, you might as well cut off your damn cell phone, <laughs> your, your, your cell phone connection if no one's calling you, you know straight up because now it's like we're all in the house so not not every day but you know a lot of times you know you're in the house so it was just weird to me it was really it was really weird to me on learning about 2k learning about what was good and what's bad and how to like you know do the whole grind that was very 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 different for me and now I'm at a chapter where I'm like, okay, I'm confident in, in the next game. I'm not saying that I'm going to make an incredible build that will beast out. You know, my, my next goal is to get to Superstar 2. I'm Superstar 1. Um, and I think I got there pretty quick because um, I grind it. You know what I'm saying? I was playing all the time. Um, I think it might be easier when 2K21 comes out. But because the, the, there'll probably be more people playing because the game will be so new that I will wrap up faster and the events and all that stuff will, you know, keep me going and stuff like that. But I don't know how my schedule will be involved in that because, you know, eventually some things will change. I know that. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm self-employed. Uh, either way, moving on. Um, so I just wanted to talk about that because I feel like some of you guys know me and you know how much I used to play 2K. Like I'm talking about, I used to play 2K8, 2K7, 2K6, 2K9. And you, you're younger than me, so you don't know. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how much I used to play or you don't you don't understand um, how I feel about this game. You know, and, and before 2K16, I was like, damn, man, they really dropping the ball here. That's like, cause it was so many people buying the game. So many people buying it. And then I'm like, damn, you know, how is it that these servers are messing up, but they're making tons of dollars on this game, like all the time. And it was up there with everything else, you know, whatever you want to call duty, whatever. I mean, it's not as popular, but money wise they're just generating daily and they got all these guys like you know lebron and you know jordan all these legends like the kobe edition the, the wade edition and this and that edition and damn okay Shit, they're bossing up so then every time i would see it i was like ah, this, yeah, yeah. because i was thinking it's not the same 
it took away what I loved. And when I used to go online, I used to play quick game. That was my thing. Quick game, quick game, quick game, boom. Get in there, whoop somebody's ass, get on the mic, talk shit, you know. And feel incredible. Go and make bets with my friends on, uh, you know, in the streets and stuff. You know, quick bets, you know, $20, $50, you know. And um, some people... They looked at it as a game. I looked at it as fun, but I also saw it as a, as a serious game too. Now then, when I came into uh, 2K20 from 2K16, you know, with the closes, with the clothes and all that, with the my player and all that stuff, I started to feel like, okay, this is definitely taking a turn. Um, and now that we're going into next gen, I have a lot of hope for this game. So I'm willing to put not a full basket of eggs but i would say a little bit more than half i'm willing to commit to this game now um not because uh of like the turnout when it comes to you know 2k or youtube or whatever but more because you can get your bang for your buck in this game you can you really you really can um the only issue is that if you're like if you're not online a lot or if you're not online let's say like if you if you don't get online for weeks at a time then you're not going to enjoy it i mean at the very least you should be playing by yourself and then every now and then online and testing out your player and seeing what you can do and then down the line boom you can go online so that was the thing i was trying to learn the schedule like okay how does it work where I can play by myself without nobody messing with me, calling me, you know, just trying to work on my player. And then later on being able to play multiplayer. But, yo, it was tough back then. I, I couldn't find a rhythm and I was working so much. And then when um, I saw that how they made the players um, and, and how the servers way better, like a hundred times better to me. In my opinion, I, I barely get knocked out. And, um, at first, it was a little, a little bit. Then I upgraded my system, my my uh, Wi-Fi, my router stuff, and it got better. And then slowly, it got better. It got better. But now, you know, my stuff uh, is top tier shit. So I expect it to be good. And now it's like always good. So I learned the difference between a player that is slow, you know. So like, if basically, if you if you have like a 92 or 93 with you. Or even 87 or something and that player slow like his strength is all the way up but then you don't have no speed it kills the the player that you have like so if your player is a f speedy player or he's fast or whatever and then you got that guy in, in, the t in the team with you it makes you lag but it's not your internet and it's not 2k it's literally the player you're playing with so that that was a mind fuck too that really messed me up. That's why I made this guy that was speedy. So then that was it. Once I figured all these things out where I have a, a, a window, you know, opportunity or, you know, a, a, a angle, I get it. Because in all these games, guys are cheating. People are cheating. Everybody's cheating in, in these games. Um, but then you surpass it where you're not really thinking about the cheese anymore because that's the first thing that comes off to my head i'm like whoa this is hella cheating out here people hitting greens threes and stuff oh what what is what the hell is that what, how, how's that happening how do i stop that what do i do then you start to see okay i get the new terminology i say i i started to understand what's op and you know the, the, the things that people are doing out here you know whether it's the dribbling or the dunking or gotta find your lane so that's what I, I started to do I took what I know from being self-employed being a rideshare driver or uber or whatever the fuck I took what I knew from that and brought it into 2k I said that's it you're done you're not you're not gonna um continue to to do what you were doing to me before because I put my money into this 
and not to say that um, I was buying hella VC, but what I'm saying is that every dollar counts for me. I'm a family man. I'm, I'm, I'm a father. So if I'm purchasing 2K, which I bought it for 20 bucks around April was $20. I want my bank for my money, man. I don't care if it's $3. I, I want to be able to do what I got to do if I really like this game and it's, and it's hyped up to be some really ill shit. So that's it. That's that's basically my rant. I, want, I had to say this. I had to say it. It was very important to me to tell you guys and to be able to leave this on my channel. It means a lot to me because I used to play this game a lot and I love basketball. I mean, I love basketball just as much as I love bo boxing. But I feel like boxing is just a little bit more of an edge because of the rules, rule changes. You don't have that much rule changes in boxing. You know what I mean? You have some favorites that might have some rule changes. So, like, you know, certain fighters, you know, they got a little leniency there depending on where they fight and who promotes it and blah, 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 blah. But basketball, the rules keep changing constantly. And that's the part that I'm just kind of like, uh, that's a little throws me off but i'm cool with it i just wanted to ask you guys what do you think about 2k20 are you excited for 2k21 did you like my rant please like this you know share it um subscribe and um let's let's continue to do this because this this is a thing that i'm doing you know for you guys but at the same time i'm also doing it for myself this video is a little bit different it's like a breakdown um but that's it that's all i wanted to say i wanted to share how i felt about the game because i know that there's a lot of, of my friends that used to play with me in uh multiplayer and stuff and now i barely hear from them or whatever they're busy with life or whatever and i had the chance to get back in being that i'm 30 years old now it's like whoa i'm the old head supposedly but Nah, I'm a middle child like my man J. Cole says, so I'm out of here. And you know what? To the haters, it is what it is. I I'm gonna be out there, yo. You see the footage, you know I'm you know I'm serious with this stuff. But I'm gonna have some surprises for you with this 2K stuff. If they let me in, if I get the chance, I'm gonna have some surprises for y'all. I'm not talking shit, I wanna have fun. I I wanna be able to do my thing, but you know how I do. You know when I came when I came into the game, LeBron was on his peak. He was going up. So that's how I learned to play 2K. Um, but anyway, I'm moving on. Peace out to you guys. Much love. Much respect. Stay safe. And let's try to keep basketball and boxing alive, y'all. Peace.